Welcome back to the touchline here on Y254. It is that time when we change gears and talk about uh, the things that are impacting the world at the moment. And one thing that is actually impacting the world and everybody has touched and has felt it has got to be climate change. Here in studio with us today, we have got the CEO of Sports for Greener, an organization here in Kenya that is actually using sports to sensitize people about climate change. Am I right? Joining me in studio for the first time is Victor Ashinga. Actually, he played for a number of Kenya Premier League clubs and now he has turned his uh, passion into the boardroom. Where is the boardroom, Victor? Uh, the boardroom is at... Uh... Yeah, I'm passionate, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, boardroom is uh, the office at uh, Kawa West. Yes. Yeah, at uh, uh, Milestone mm -hmm. uh, area. Yeah. Yeah, it's to Karibu, but piano offices are careful. Ah, yes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah, so, what is Sports for Greener? Tell us about your organization. Yeah, Sports for Greener Environment uh, actually is uh, an environment that uh, uh, sports related and uh, actually uses uh, sports as a tool uh, yes. and, uh, to champion for issues of concerning the environment. So basically, it's just an advocacy on issues of environment. Yes. Uh, ways on which we can actually improve, ways on which we can actually uh, be part of the, of the, of the change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically using uh, sports guys, uh, personnel, not uh, mainly uh, f as, as, uh, footballers, but uh, all sports disciplines. Yeah. Yeah. And also I've got, as usual, Erika Ganya here in studio with us. Eric, how are you doing, my friend? I'm good, my friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Radio Radio. Yeah, last, last time I was here, yes. I was with Maxwell. Yes. I told you I'd gone for golf. Ah, yes. <laughs> 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 Life is good. <laughs> when you see your friend playing golf, yes. I know. Kaka na king. Karibu. So, a uh, big one for you. World Cup 48 teams una your najoba. Ah, 48 teams is a good thing yeah. because um, uh, for the fans that means more games. Yes. Uh, so more entertainment. Yes. And uh, also, I believe as a continent uh, in Africa, uh, we are also going to get an increase uh, from the five normal yes. teams uh, to, m to many more teams. Mm -hmm. Now, my, my only problem is that uh, are we going to use that? Uh, that means we have to improve on our quality yeah. in terms of uh, preparation for our African teams. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, talk, we'll be talking more about that a little bit later on. But I also got to ask you about uh, sports for greener youths and advocacy. Climate change has been tough. Yes, yes Everybody yes. has felt it worldwide, and even here in Kenya, so far, it's yes. actually the communication that is going on. What are some of the things that these youths have actually done to make people know that now it's about time that we actually be conscious of our climate and how we should protect our environment? Yeah, first and foremost, I'd like to give it to maybe the leadership uh, of the area uh, through Dr. Clement Kamaru, the area MCA. Yeah. Uh, who is doing a lot in terms of uh, giving the young people an opportunity and also by extension uh, His Excellency the Governor yes. uh, Johnson Sakaja, he himself being a young man he wants to have the youth now carrying up the agenda for the next generation yes. and um, we are supporting them in the Sports for Greener basically because uh, what they have been able to do they have been able to organize cleanups mm -hmm. and uh, we, they do it quarterly three times, uh, I think four times a, a year. Yes. Uh, we're having another one coming up this weekend, the next weekend, that is on 25th. Yeah. And uh, also tree planting, because yes. we believe that uh, when uh, more trees are planted, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, they're going to impact the climate change positively. Mm -hmm. And um, those are some of the activities they're involving in. And uh, also mentoring the young people who are coming up. Mm -hmm. It's not only about climate, but it's in f uh, the fusion between sports Yes. And now climate, yeah. and now environment, taking care of environment. Because we know that most of our young people love sports, yes. whether it is football being the most popular, followed by basketball, uh, rugby, and other sports. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to incorporate all those. And uh, we are trying as, uh, to put infrastructure in place down there in Car West. Yeah. And um, him being there, it's rare to find uh, 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 brains and talent together. Yes, and uh, him being there, uh, he's the brain behind 
mm -hmm. the Sports for Greener yes. uh, initiative. Yeah. And I believe uh, through him, as Victor, we are going to get many more who are going to come up and um, support young people yeah. and nurture those young people yeah. uh, for, for a better tomorrow. Victor, my youth who come to me, I come to Bali because when I join my youth, I want to come to share. I want to live with you in the end. But Sasa, who go to ground when you are using sports? How my youth want to talk? I want to come to Bali with what you are doing. The the message you are trying to give out there. Yeah, first of all, I have to applaud, especially the uh, the youth, especially uh, who are within uh, uh, the organization Sports for Greener. Yes. They are doing a great job, especially to see. Uh, to, uh, on how to reach the other youth, especially within the community, mm -hmm. and uh, especially more of the youth being uh, the lovers of sports yes. and various disciplines. Most of them have been uh, with the issues of drugs, issues of uh, other issues, but uh, the, the good guys, of, uh, especially the guys who are we, we are having on board, they are doing, most of them have connections, especially these guys on the ground. Yes. So we find that. Uh, they have, they have already sent the message, especially to these guys, and most of them have always actually uh, uh, taken the challenge and, and, and joined uh, uh, the, the CBO, yes. especially for uh, issues of, advoca of advocating uh, uh, on, cl on climate. Yes. So they're supporting us much big, and they are more involved. Mm -hmm. and, what you, and what we want, especially from, uh, from our end as an, an organization, mm -hmm. to use that especially to make sure that, uh, that they, they, they become responsible of, uh, of their, their, their surrounding the environment. Yes. Yeah. Well, 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 one can ask, what is your motivation? What made you get in this uh, motivation to get you actually go on to advocate for the environment, for the climate? Uh, first, I have to say that uh, it was just a passion within me. Mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, then the other thing, especially uh, uh, just from the life of uh, maybe, okay, I can say uh, in sports world, most of the guys always associate most of the sports guys as celebrity. Yes. So uh, using my, the term celebrity, mm -hmm. I, 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 I needed to at least to, to, to change it, to tune it in a way that uh, I, I relate with more with the community, especially to see on how, uh, how I can bring out uh, that celebrity part to, to, to relate with the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I chose the issue of the environment. Yeah, yeah. And the now the well, the aim of the organization has got to be to push for climate. Is it being actualized now? Actually, it's uh, it's coming to fruit to fruition right now because um, what we're doing, uh, we've uh, been able to support them, and uh, they've come up with a CBO, yes, a community-based organization for for young people. Uh, we have some who are in the studio today, the likes of uh, Umbati, the likes of Sally. Yeah. There are some who could not make it, uh, Jerry, Robert, and uh, many more. Um, now, as the area leadership, we are trying to, 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 to give them the infrastructure they deserve mm -hmm. uh, for that, uh, to realize what they want to come up with, yeah. and uh, supporting them here and there. And uh, I, I like their passion and their drive. Yes. Uh, they are there, they are dedicated. And I'm sure uh, as they continue like that, bigger things will, will come. Yes. Definitely they have, uh, we have challenges. Uh, of course, finances is always a challenge. Mm -hmm. Because when you're organizing something like a, a cleanup, uh, you'll have to struggle with finances. You yes. have logistics, you have everything here. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, through now, uh, Dr. Clement, we are trying to to reach out to partners, yes. to corporates, to come and partner with them mm -hmm. uh, through the uh, uh, we have Farmers Choice mm -hmm. who supported them last la last cleanup yes. in a big way. We have uh, we had Proact coming in. Uh, right now we have uh, partners who have, who have confirmed that they will they will come on board on 25th. Farmers Choice will be there. Yes. Uh, we have the local schools Saint mm -hmm. Anne Fred. We have uh, Marion School. Um, we have uh, KBA, we have NJs, yes. we are going to come on board. And you see, you start from home. And if we can rally uh, all those around Car West on board, I am sure now we'll go, now we, we start talking about it other, we are family bank also who, yes. who are coming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to support them on 25th. And uh, our appeal is to appeal to any other uh, uh, sponsor or partner who would like to come on board yes. uh, to come and support these young men. Uh, the county government is also supporting them in a very, very, very big way. Mm -hmm. uh, through the governor, 
Yes. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's promised to give a personal uh, contribution mm -hmm. and also to rally uh, the county government machinery uh, behind them. Well, and I'm sure we'll go far. Well, Eric Aganya here, Robert Osoro, and the CEO of Sports for Greener, Victor Ashinga, here on the touchline, talking about the youth's engagement in sports and actually using sports as an engagement tool to talk about other matters that actually affect the community. And one that is affecting the community at the moment has got to be climate change. Victor, uh, someone will ask, uh, what is your main target now, the, the future and the main target of Sports for Greener? Uh, first, I have to say that uh, it has been a challenge, especially on running these activities. Yes. And uh, uh, for now, I, th I, I can say that uh, we've been uh, close, especially the, the, the county government, uh, through our area MCA, Dr. Clement for Kamaru, and uh, His Excellency the, uh, the Governor. We've been, uh, been always uh, lending a, a hand, especially on uh, where to, can, to help. And uh, I think for now we are focusing on more on uh, uh, globally, especially for grants, where we can also be able to uh, reach more, especially to support most of the activity that we are organizing. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's a big one there. So if you have got a chance to actually join Sports for Greener, you can get in touch with Victor Ashinga here in studio with us. Okay, I'm a youth, but now I'm a joint organization. Yeah, so... Uh, most of the youths in Agonga, but unfortunately, lockdown and a lot of something is is coming out. So uh -huh. I, I th uh -huh. think my appeal is just uh, uh, first of all, at least, lazima kwa at least kuna pia na passion. Yes. So because uh, we need to bring people also on board, do people who can champion for the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mine is just to urge most of, most of the youth, especially to uh, to join us, especially on achieving this uh, dream. Mm -hmm. uh, especially on uh, issues of, of advocating for uh, our environment. Yes. Yeah. Well, you can join them next week. I think that will be the weekend of 25th and mm -hmm. the 26th of March, actually, as they go on to do some cleanup in Kahawa West, there in that area. Sports for Greener Youths, and there is what Y254 and the touchline we actually advocate for. If you are a youth out there and you have got a chance to join this organization, it is for a good cause. Drug abuse, not for you. Climate change, it's an organization and it is something that you can actually go for. So, inspire someone. How was the transition from football to being a CEO now? <laughs> uh, actually, uh, what I can say is uh, actually much uh, more of believing in yourself. Yes. Yeah, and uh, then uh, having a self discipline mm -hmm. and then committing on what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, actually, the from there, sky is the limit. Yes. Sure. Well, that is uh, Victor Ashinga in studio with us today uh, for the very first time, and he has got a chance to talk about sports for green. Oh, you come back uh, another day to tell us about how those activities went. By. But for now, let's also tune some gears and talk about a little bit about the fan zone and everything that has been happening in the country. And big conversation and big storyline has got to be much fixing that actually happened and there was a big uh, story courtesy of Michael Kenyo of Royal Media Services and an expose of how three people actually were involved in match fixing. It's becoming a tough menace here in the country, Eric. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. I think uh, uh, it's becoming a big, big problem because of uh, the betting and gambling issue. Yes. But I think it's more of ethics and uh, is football paying enough? Is sports paying True. enough? Yes. Because uh, I don't think uh, if it was paying enough, uh, you'll go into uh, that temptation you want to, to, to fix games. But you find that uh, some of our players, I think uh, Victor will tell you here, how, how, how he struggled through <laughs> his playing days yes. uh, when it comes to putting food on the table. Mm. Uh, that, that, that brings in the temptation. Uh, it's something, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a necessary evil. It is, it's not going yes. anywhere. And maybe there is more, in my feeling, uh, there is more that has not been exposed. There is more to it than uh, there's what There is more to know. it. Uh, maybe two, three people are just sacrificial lambs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's a big conversation that we are following here. For you, Victor, what do you think of the way our players are suffering? As a player who played in the Kenyan Premier League, it is tough being a Kenyan Premier League player in Kenya. 
Yeah, first of all, I have to uh, uh, say that uh, actually it's much difficult. Yes. And uh, I think uh, this one calls for most stakeholders, especially on board, especially within the football fraternity, uh, to make sure that uh, uh, they talk about the same and uh, come up with uh, solutions on uh, how they can aid uh, our beloved sport. Yes. Yeah, because uh, if, if it continues this way, then I think uh, we, la we shall be having a problem, especially with the issues of un unemployment. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's a tough one. That's a conversation that is going on. Also, let's go ahead and talk about the quarterfinals of the Champions League that came out, the Europa League. Big games that will be coming our way. We've got Real Madrid at home to Chelsea. Man City will be facing Bayern Munich and then AC Milan versus Napoli. Inter will be home to Benfica. Best clash for in the Champions League for the quarterfinals will be... Man City by... <laughs> <That's what laughs> I think this guy is going to want to Pep to win this thing. Because yes. you see, after he's done... In, in the event that he's done with Bayern Munich, yes. he has to face Real Madrid mm. uh, in the semi-final. Because yes. uh, the winner of uh, Bayern Munich, Man City, will face the winner of Chelsea, uh, Madrid yes. in the semi-final. And that makes it so difficult for him to reach the final. Yes. And that is a, a trophy that has eluded him for, for quite some time. And, uh, 12 years now. 12 years now since yeah. he left Barcelona. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be a big, big, big game because uh, his uh, current team facing his former team. Yes. And uh, the form that Bayern was also in, yeah. it's going to be difficult for him. Yeah. Um, Madrid, Madrid are playing well. Yes. Yeah, and Madrid, I think, uh, 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 in one or another, uh, they're going to put all they have in the mm -hmm. Champions League. Yes. Because if you look at the domestic league, uh, uh, Barcelona is, uh, is running ahead. With eh? He's running with it, and mm -hmm. Xavi is, is convinced he wants to pick it this time around. Well, another story had got to be Patrick Vieira being served by Crystal Palace. Bad for Crystal Palace? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, quite, uh, I can't talk much, much about it because. Uh, yes. Uh, some fans are letting in the, the, the loser for, for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yes. I can't say anything much about that. <laughs> <laughs> for you, he's, he's being modest. <laughs> but I think uh, yes. I think he did some good work because remember yes. when he came in, uh, he stabilized the team, mm. and uh, he's the last person I was expecting him. Uh, I was expecting to go. I thought Brendan Rodgers will go before him. Yes, uh, because you look at uh, Leicester have struggled the whole the whole season. Yes. And uh, some guys were bringing in the, the race card, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. which I don't think should be a, a, an issue. But uh, uh, I think that's, uh, that, that's quite unfortunate. Yeah. He had done some good work uh, with Crystal Palace. Well, today in our last minutes here on the touchline, we're not going to talk about the matches in the English Premier League, considering that the biggest game will be tomorrow, and that will be the El Clasico. Barcelona playing Real Madrid. The last time out... Barcelona won by one goal to nil. Will they do that again tomorrow? Which team do you support between those two? No, Madrid. Ah, you expect Madrid to win? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> How do you see that one coming uh, out? Xavi has beaten Madrid uh, consistently. Yes. And uh, the other one, the, the, the last one nil, I didn't expect it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Madrid fan. Yes. Uh, but uh, now as an analyst, I think um, Xavi is more determined to win than yes. Madrid because uh, Barcelona want to run away with the, with the, with the, with the, with the El Clasico, with the, with the La Liga. And for them to, 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 to run away with it, they, ha they have to beat the best. And um, Barcelona also have an advantage because they are not in the, in the European Cups. Yes. Uh, Real have to worry about the Chelsea game. Mm -hmm. And um, Barcelona, he doesn't need to worry about that. Mm -hmm. So he'll come more prepared yeah. uh, than Madrid, in my opinion. I don't know why you're not asking me about uh, Arsenal <laughs> losing. You know, I'm <laughs> reaching about Arsenal losing. That, that's what I was uh, going why, to why feed it to you. Why? 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 why, why? <laughs> out of the cup competition, oh, Arsenal yes, is out. Oh, yes. yes. I want to hammer it down to the Arsenal fans. Because <laughs> Let it have oh, final yes. one. They lost. And they, are <laughs> yeah. they lost and then I'm also happy. Mm -hmm. I think that was my the highlight of my, 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 my week. Yes. Because they have been noisy. Uh, they have been noisy, but yes. that also gives them, a, gives them an advantage because now <laughs> yes. it means they don't have any other trophy to concentrate on. So I'm going to give it on in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. But that, just uh, by the fact that they are out, yes. uh, I think that one, we have to give it also to Lisbon. Yes. Oh, they came. 
They showed up for that occasion. Mm -hmm. They played good football. Yeah. And uh, I've never seen Arsenal being pushed to the limit. Uh, for 30, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisbon did that. And that makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the final one from America Gaja here. Santa <laughs> Sada for coming. Victor Shinga, the CEO for Sports for Greener. Thank you for coming. Hope we'll be having you again next week on the 25th and the 26th. Join Sports for Greener in Kawa West as they do a sports cleanup and also synthesize the community on matters, sports, and the environment, and also climate change. I'm Robert Osoro. Everybody has made this broadcast a success. We say Asante Sana. Good afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your viewing here on Y254.